Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out some of the Carter Beauty Cosmetics and talking you through some of the things that I've learned from wearing them over the past week. So last week, I went to film this video, had my setup done, had my lights up, ready to go, eyes done, literally ready to go, dropped my camera, broke it. So I hope that this video is up to the standard of quality and I don't know, I hope that it looks well. So without further ado, if you would like to see what I think and like to see which products I've bought, just keep on watching. So the first product that I want to try out is the Carter Beauty Steadfast Liner. This liner is like a felt tip pen. I've swatched it on my hand but I haven't actually ever tried it on my eyes and I just feel like my eyes look a little bit unfinished so I just want to finish them off but what I do know from swatching it on my hand is this is really really waterproof so we're going to try it out. So I'm just going to use a wipe and I'm just going to clean up the edges because that's where I was having the most difficulty. I would imagine it's just down to me not being used to using a felt tip liner. I'm so used to using gels and liquids because it is actually really nice, really black. I'm impressed. I really, really like it. I'm not going to be replacing my essence, I don't think. With my Essence one, I would never have to do a clean up like this. The next product that I'm going to apply is the Full Measure HD Foundation. So this is the matte foundation. So. What I have found, because I have used this a couple of times, I have found that it is, like I've seen people online saying, I can't even feel it on my skin, it's so light, it feels like water going on. That is not true. It feels like a full coverage foundation on me, in my opinion. So I'm gonna use a Real Technique sponge. Two, like two pumps is actually relatively small. Like that's all that is. And I'm gonna apply that on. So you can still see some of the more darker red patches coming through. I am going to apply it to the rest of my face and then I'll apply a second layer where I need it. Okay, so that is one layer applied. So definitely for somebody that doesn't have acne, I think one layer would do. It's not that heavy at one layer and I guess that's probably where people are coming from saying that it feels like water on the skin, but I definitely need more coverage. I'm just gonna dot and then blend it. Like I try to wear as little foundation as possible, obviously, like nobody wants to be cake to makeup, but in order for me to get that really, really smooth, like no discoloration, I do have to layer it up. But yeah, so I bought this foundation online, um, I think the day that they actually came out. I can't remember, it was very, very early on when I bought it, and I found customer service wasn't great, but I think that was due to the high volume of people probably messaging them and asking them questions because I did see on Twitter or somewhere that they were hiring somebody to deal with social media or something like that. So I'm assuming that they have somebody that's kind of double jobbing that was just under a bit of pressure. So I messaged and I asked, what shade do you think I am? I normally wear NC30 in Mac. Radio silence <laughs> for about five days. And then they eventually did message, no, I messaged them back and I said, it's okay, couldn't wait, um, I've ordered this color. So then eventually, yeah, Radio Silence five days and they messaged me back and they were really lovely. They were like, look, for future reference, there are swatches on our Instagram, but at that stage it was too late. I'd already ordered. Um, to be honest, I think their swatches should have been on their website and I shouldn't have had to wait for Instagram. I think it's a little bit lighter than my tan at the moment. It's very hard when you are a fake tan wearer to be able to kind of guess what color is going to match you. Like I have so many different foundations, but you just kind of don't know until it's on. And then you're like, oh, that's too dark, or that's too light or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bronze it up. I actually bought their bronzing palette. So I'm going to powder, I bought their powder as well, and then bronze, and hopefully then I'll match up. I'm going to set it down with the baking powder. My advice with this baking powder would be less is more because I think that adds to the cakiness but again it is marketed as a baking powder so I'm going to take it up on my sponge put it under my eyes first and I think that this one can make the foundation look a little bit grey you know what I mean can you see that I think it looks kind of dull obviously it is going to dull it down it will take away any shine but I think it needs to be warmed up with bronzer and then I actually get a brush straight away because I don't want that to set for too long Again, 
I don't want too much sinking into the foundation because it is quite a powdery foundation. Anyway, oh my God, that powder, it's translucent, but it literally has taken that foundation down two or three shades, hasn't it? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm that back up. So I have this palette. I cannot remember how much I bought it for. It's called the Phoenix palette and you have four different shades in it. So you can see these two are quite warm and these two are quite cool. This one actually has flecks of kind of like gold um, highlighter through it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one, which is called the Flame. That one's the warmer of the four. And I'm just gonna use that to bronze up the face a little bit. We're going away next week and I am definitely gonna take away this palette. I think I'll take away the foundation as well. I don't know because I obviously don't really tan. So I'll be wearing fake tan, but I might get a bit of a tan. So basically, I don't know what color my skin is going to be. So I might take it just to have a really full coverage foundation. Okay, so that's warmed up the skin a good bit. Now, and the last product that I bought, that is my least favorite product, is this liquid lip, lip tint. And it's in the shade Louise. And online, this was described as a bright coral, which it is, but I thought it would be more along the lines of would actually match my hair, but this is very much, yeah, I'm not a fan. It's Shade Louise. Now this will be somebody's right up their alley cup of tea. And I do think it's gorgeous, but just not on me. I just think it doesn't suit me. Okay, so I've overlined my lips a little bit because that's what I'm used to doing and I just think it looks mental. I, I really just don't like this colour. But what do you think? It's definitely a toss-up between these two as to which is my favourite product, but I think I really, really like this bronzer palette and I think it's really unique. I don't think that many other brands have a bronzer palette like this that has four shades in it for such an affordable price. I will leave all the prices in the drop down box below and I'll leave links if you want to buy any of these products or have a look at them online. Yeah, so that is it from me for today. I really hope that this has helped you make up your mind whether you want to buy the Cartier Beauty Cosmetics or not. I hope seeing them on my skin and hearing me talk about them has helped you. If it has, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and until the next time, I will see you soon. I'll probably be on my holidays the next time that I see you guys. So um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Chat to you soon guys, bye.